Hi, this is Soma56 and this video tutorial is going to show you how to use Social Room Extractor to extract emails from any country in the world. For this example, I'm going to focus on Germany. The first thing you're going to want to do is, if you're targeting a specific niche or website in Germany, let's say Facebook users, then let's focus on that. Let's just say we want German Facebook users. We're going to want to use some keywords. Now, because we're targeting anything to do with Facebook, your keyword list can just be a list of common keywords. Now, there's a website that, if I remember, I will put in the description, from a gentleman named Michael Wong. He's got a website. It's called Top keywords.com and so he's got a pretty good list of 500 keywords the last 48 hours so we'll have a look at that and we can see some we can see some keywords I wouldn't recommend using the top 10 top 20 just grabbing whatever is number one two three four 10 20 whatever the case is in fact you might be better off using the top 500 keywords in the last 365 days. Scrolling down to the very bottom and choosing 20, 30, 40, I, even up to 50. Let's go all out here. Uh, from the bottom up. Now, there's two ways you can spin this. You can go, you can just simply Google English to German and you'll find an online translator and take your 20, 30, 40 keywords, translate them into German and place them in your keyword box. The other way you can spin this is look for a list, which th this is going to be more difficult, but look for a list of popular German keywords. The only thing with looking for popular keywords is you don't want to find anything too common. You don't want the, I, us. You want to avoid the day-to-day -day stuff. That's why I suggest looking at the bottom of the list. And just looking at this list too, you're going to want to avoid anything with a website and anything that has more than two or three words. I don't even know what this is here. Videos, this. Anything the, mo anything the more two or three words you're going to want to avoid. So, that's the first step. The second step is to change your search criteria. People in Germany are not going to have... Let's look at Combine All for a second. They're not going to have Rogers.com as their SMTP provider. So, how do you go about getting SMTP providers of people that live in Germany. Google it. It's really simple. All I did was type in email provider Germany. Uh, the first link here, if it's not the second one, it, yes it is this one, provides an excellent list of German SMTP providers. And I can, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five right there. So we'll just grab these three for example purposes and throw them into the program. So, this basically is going to allow you to scrape email addresses that are I'm pretty confident are going to be a result from Germany and be a, a German person. The third thing you could do, so we've got three S, let's see if I can zoom in here. One finger pushing control, F9, there we go. We've got three SMTP providers there for a search criteria. The third thing we can do, and unfortunately I have to I just copy that. Combine one with the general interest, there we go. You can take your general interest list and convert it to German. So 
I don't think it's necessary to do all of them. I guess you could. Go online, go to English to German, type in my email is, and whatever that translates to, place that here in conjunction with your German SMTP providers. So, to summarize, we've got we've got a list of common German words in our keyword box. Uh, assuming you were going to choose Facebook as your website, or all the sites, or uh, actually I wouldn't recommend all the sites. That is madness. That's why I put that there. SMT providers, SMTP providers of from Germany, um, and translated general interest into German and what will that what that will do is it will grab it'll grab email addresses from from German blogs, German any German website where they've said I, I don't speak German, but you know, referencing referencing their email on a page. So hopefully that gives you uh, a a overview of I zoomed in. <laughs> Hopefully that gives you an overview of how to, to apply this to any country. So there's no reason why if you were targeting Peru, which the native language is Spanish, you could get a bunch of common keyword, uh, keywords in, sp in Spanish, place them in your keyword box, and do a similar search, searching SMTP provider, Peru, email provider, Peru, and oh, Adobe, okay. and use this formula for for any country around the world. The third thing, uh, well actually I think this would be the fourth thing, is leave the region alone. And I'll explain that in another video tutorial. What I've kind of established here in this video is a, a very effective way to grab emails from any country. And it should be more than sufficient to generate an accurate, highly targeted niche in the country of your choosing.